The targeting of conservative groups by the Obama administration's tax agency is being chalked up to poor management instead of bad intentions. And there are indications what could not be done by intimidation may be tried through regulation. Here's chief political correspondent Carl Cameron. Law enforcement officials have signaled there will be no criminal charges against IRS staff for targeting conservative groups for excess scrutiny prior to the 2012 elections, for which they blame not political bias, but IRS mismanagement and misunderstanding of the very tax laws it enforces. The inspector general recommended clarifying the rules, and social welfare groups on the right and left are up in arms over proposed limits to their political activity. Somehow, we're going to make that as hard as possible. We're going to say, nope, that's not in the... That's not in the uh, public good. That's not for the public good. I think that's crazy. And I think we have to just stand up and say, you know what? This is insanity. Public input on the changes is invited until March, but the feds are vague after that. Quote, we do not anticipate final regulations being issued before the 2014 elections. Beyond that, it is difficult to predict how long the rulemaking process will take. So expect the new rules sometime before the 2016 presidential race. Supporters say if social welfare groups want to spend more than half their money and time on politics, there will still be a way. These groups can set up different types of tax-exempt organizations um, and that they can do political activities through those organizations. They can get unlimited money through those organizations. Those are, in essence, super PACs. Super PACs must disclose their big money donors. Social welfare groups don't. The new rules would prevent social welfare groups from spending more than 49 percent of their money on politics and among other things ban advertising 30 days before primaries and 60 days before general elections since when did educating the public about candidates and issues and votes and holding public officials accountable since when is that not in the social welfare the irs is expected to hold public hearings with expert testimony before finalizing the rules about a year from now